Lawmakers came together when they recently passed that COVID-19 relief package. But that bipartisan effort is surely to be tested when they begin work on the budget. Republican leaders say their early analysis of the state's finances finds a 15% shortfall over last year. That's a uh, $4 billion we're going to be short. $4 billion. Surrey County Republican Sarah Stevens says lawmakers will have to look at budget cuts because she says raising taxes right now would hurt the economy even more. But that's not the only problem. We have lots of people right now asking for additional money. Um, and, and that just can't happen. We have to keep our economy going. Um, our unemployment numbers are horrendous. Forsyth County Democrat Paul Lowe says lawmakers have to find creative ways to help small businesses, especially restaurants and hotels. He also wants to increase the number of workers operating the state's unemployment system, find more money for testing, and do something about health care disparities. He says lawmakers have no choice but to help keep the economy going. Others may look at it and say, well, some will fall through the cracks. Oh, well. But Senator Lowe admits the decisions facing lawmakers won't be easy ones. And you keep everyone from falling through the cracks without raising revenue is the question. It'll be very difficult. Reopening the economy is critical to us determining how much revenue we might have. Some Republicans are backing legislation that allows business owners to violate the governor's stay at home order with nothing more than a civil fine. So far, it hasn't generated support from leadership. I asked Sarah Stevens if she sees a showdown coming if the governor doesn't go ahead with phase two of his plan to reopen. I, I think we'd keep her powder dry on that. Phase two of the governor's reopening plan takes effect next Friday. However, it's not clear yet if that will happen. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.